welcome back. Um, I have another puzzle video for you guys today. I know it has been a while since I have done one for you. I actually did a puzzle and got all the way to the end and the very last, um, about 40 minutes of it, the video uh, got lost, didn't get recorded, and it's like the best part of the video, so I just um, kind of canceled the whole thing. Um, and then I did another puzzle, but didn't record it because it was just not ready for fun and public. So this is one that I have been working on for a while. You'll notice that I put little date stamps here because I was trying to show just how long of a space in um, calendar time this was taking up, even though it wasn't necessarily the long in hours. Um, and I got this puzzle because I wanted a challenge. I was actually on vacation with my family in Colorado and the rental house we were staying at had a shaped puzzle that me and my boyfriend tried to put together and it was just like a 200 piece puzzle and it ended up being so hard and we had to give up. And so it made me think, hey, I should do a shaped puzzle because I've been doing a lot of puzzles and you know, I, I love them, I think they're fun, but they do get a little easy when you've been doing them for a while. So I picked up this puzzle on Amazon and I ordered it um, back in August, I think. And I, then I started to do it and I immediately realized it was going to be so hard. <laughs> so I originally started out with my usual strategy of trying to do the edge pieces, even though I knew it was going to be not a rectangle. But I quickly had to give up on that because after several hours, I still had gotten barely anything put together and it was just so frustrating. And um, there was just so many edge pieces. And as it turned out, um, this puzzle, a lot of the pieces were cut as if they were edge pieces, even though they weren't. And so it was very tricksy. <laughs> um, so once I gave up on doing edge pieces, I started to just do kind of colors and like some shapes and motifs that I could recognize. So I started out with some of those green fish on blue that you can see, and then I did that little kind of sunset sky. And those were kind of the two obvious things to do. And so after that, it really slowed down. Um, and keep in mind, I was using my normal strategy here of not looking at the box top. So not only did I not really know what the picture was, I actually didn't know what the shape was. I mean, like, obviously I had kind of seen it when I bought it, but I, like, intentionally did not look at the cover, and I knew it was going to be vaguely shaped like dolphins, but, like, I didn't really have any idea how they were going to come together. And that made this so challenging. Honestly, if I could go back and do this over, I probably would just um, make an exception for this and use the box top um, because it ended up being so frustrating not to do that. But once I had started out not doing that, I didn't want to change like halfway through. I, I guess that's kind of a sunk cost fallacy. <laughs> I should have just, you know, changed my mind and not been stubborn, but yeah, that's me. Um, so now you can see this got up to February and my boyfriend was coming to visit and he had been giving me um, crap. He'd visited up once already and this was just sitting on the table and he'd been giving me crap about not doing it. So I was trying to get it done before he got here. Obviously I did not. And now you can see he's helping me with it. <laughs> um, and so it starts to go a lot faster once um, I get some help with it. And um, if you notice the date on this, it was just a couple days before Valentine's Day. And so we had actually set a goal that we wanted to have the table cleared off so that we could use it for a nice date at home for Valentine's Day. Um, spoiler alert, we did not meet that goal, <laughs> but we got really close. But um, even though this was on my table for, oh my gosh, almost six months, uh, wait, let's see, August, September, October, November, December, January, yeah, six months, <laughs> I actually um, was still able to use my table. I have two placemats that I would just put down over the pieces, and for Valentine's Day, I actually busted out a whole tablecloth and just put it over it, over top. Well. I say tablecloth, but it turns out I lost my tablecloth, and so I just had an old curtain that I used as a tablecloth. <laughs> We're pretty fancy around here, what can I say? Um, and surprisingly, I managed to not actually lose any pieces throughout those six months, so I was pretty proud of myself. Um, and yeah, the you can see the two lines there, the vertical lines where my table folds down. And I actually um, did fold those flaps down while I was gone. Um, I went on a trip to Australia for a couple weeks and it didn't make sense to have it up. And so I kind of had to smush all the pieces together. So they, they got moved around a lot. <laughs> but it really was kind of a miracle that none of them were missing. So I was pretty proud of that. Um, I'm sorry about this like glare spot that's right in front of me. I don't know which light was causing that, but I will try to avoid that in the future. But 
you can see we started to make some pretty big progress here and get a couple of the big chunks like put together which was really a relief because like I said I had no idea what these what the shape was gonna be and so like you see how the tail on the left there like kinks really straight up like I had no idea that was gonna happen and so it was just really confusing and you can see I still have the other tail over there on the right because based on the colors I thought it was gonna go somewhere over there and I hadn't totally realized yet that all of the tails were gonna go on the same side which in hindsight it should have been obvious but and then there was these mouths that I put together near the beginning and I just had no clue where they were gonna go and you can see that they are edge pieces on both the top and bottom so I knew they were gonna stick out on their own and so I just knew it was gonna be um, kind of hard with all of the edge pieces and those um, edge pieces that make those really tight turns you'd think they would be easy to find but they were cut in such a way that on they had only the tiniest little kink on them yet they were even edge pieces like <laughs> they definitely did a really um, I suppose I'd say a good job <laughs> in making this challenging with the way they cut the pieces um, this nail was the day after Valentine's Day and we were so close to being done and it was a Saturday so we were just like, all right, we're gonna finish it. Even though at this point you can still see there was a lot left and I was kind of still feeling overwhelmed with it. But at least things are starting to come together a little bit. I got one of those nails finally in place um, and we're starting to kind of see where the other one was gonna go. Um, what also made this tricky is that the picture is like kind of a collage picture so we don't really have a lot of like logical clues about where things are going to go. So for example, there's a sky at the top and like a surface of water at the top, but there's also a surface of water down near that last bottom head and there's like multiple sections where there's like a ground with like shells and like sea, sea floor on it. So it was super confusing. And one of the things that was most confusing and ended up really bothering me actually was um, on the left there you can see that dolphin head that's pretty empty still and it's just the head but it kind of looks like it's coming out of that tail, but it's not. <laughs> it would be way too short if that was actually a dolphin. So it's um, it's a trick of perspective and collage there. But we finally did it. So once I got my boyfriend to help, it wasn't so bad and it ended up being kind of fun. But I think I'll do a rectangle next time. All right, see you again soon. Bye.